Hello, it's time for some more details with Dee and uh, Carrie and Oliver here with me. <laughs> you may hear Oliver's little toenails clicking on the floor. <laughs> um, Y'all here just in time to help us clean stamps. Absolutely. The these the couple of the things that we recommend are what's offered through uh, Stampin' Up. What do we not recommend? We don't recommend using baby wipes. Yeah, we did in the past and we quit that quite a while ago. Well, There's a couple reasons why we don't recommend baby wipes. What's your reason, Dee? Well, mine is is that the the alcohols or the fragrant chemicals can leave a residue behind or can degrade the stamps themselves. Yeah, over time that can happen. My reason is it can leave little pieces of lint behind on your stamp and you may not even realize it until the next time you go to use your stamp and then it messes up your project because you've got that little piece of lint um, that was on your stamp. So we recommend what we have through Stampin' Up! And both of these are reasonable um, as far as price-wise of how to clean your stamps. So here's item number one. It's the chamois and this is the way it comes in uh, it's all nice and clean, still moist and malleable. Mm -hmm. In the stamp, when you first get it, that's how it is, because um, that's how it comes from Stampin' Up. Here's one that we've been using, and it's it's clean. Mm -hmm. um, they're real handy. It's just stained, and like the ink on the the just wipes right off with the water in yeah, it. I got a little bit too overzealous with the ink, didn't I? And um, yeah, it's just water, and it really does a good job even getting in the detailed stamps. And then when it's when you're done using it, you can just rinse it out, and you're ready to go for the next time. And no. Now we keep ours in a stamp case, but you do want to let it dry after you're done for the day. Just leave that stamp case open or leave it out on your table to dry so that um, it doesn't start getting smelly. Uh, we've also taken some of them and cut them into quarters. I don't, we'll bring this back. That's only a quarter of the size and we keep it in the small stamp case. Um, and these are real handy when you're using the Stamparatus, which is we're going to talk about it in an upcoming video. It's a and, stamp positioning tool. So um, there's a, And these are kept on the table most of the time when we're working. Because as we're working, it's real easy to just clean your stamps and move on from there. Mm -hmm. But when you're done for the day, I much prefer the stamp and scrub. And if you'll notice up in the corner, there's a there's a raindrop image in the corner over here, and on the inside right here, there's a sun image. So this side is always dry, and this side we use the stamping mist and we just mist it out and then this will not only clean your stamp but it will condition it as well you and just gently rub it just gently rub it and then yeah, rub it a couple on the, the damp side and then dry it off okay and likewise I like it because it's yeah look how clean that is that works great now you're gonna say, oh, but that one didn't come clean. It's, it's clean. Stained. Yeah, it's clean. It's just stained from the red ink, and that's okay. It does not affect the stamp at all. And I like this because as it does clean and condition the stamps, then I get to, uh, they're all nice and pretty and ready to put away, and I don't get a lot of ink on my hands. Now you may not know this, but when you first get your stamps, from Stampin' Up, whether it's the um, red rubber, the cling mount, or the photopolymer, it's a good idea to go ahead and clean your stamps when you get them. Sometimes there can be some residue from the manufacturer and you don't get a good um, impression when you stamp the first few times. So if you go ahead and clean them, then that takes care of that. Uh, what I'd like to show you also is that occasionally these, um, inside here, there's a couple of tabs on these so that once you've used them quite a bit, you can f flex this. Oh, come on now. 
I usually use a butter knife. That's a but great you, tool. Yeah, but you, you just, these will come right out and you take them to the sink and you just wash all of the ink and the cleaner out of them and get them cleaned back up. And you then, can use a little bit of dish soap on there if you want to. And then what I do is just fold them in the middle like this and let them pop back into place. Do you wait and let them dry first? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I just do it like at the end of the day and then let it dry overnight and then it's ready to go. So that's how you can take care of your Stampin' Scrubs so that it will serve you for a long time. We've had two Stampin' Scrubs for several years now and they're still working just great. We do clean them from time to time and it really depends on how much you're stamping how often you need to clean them. All right, is everything clean? Yes. Okay. And then we just put things back away where they belong and we're in good shape. Ready for next time. And then... Can you think about anything else about cleaning stamps, Dave? Uh, no, not right offhand. The, the only difference is, and we'll get into inks as we move forward, um, if you're a brand new stamper, you may not know what stays on ink is or Versamark ink. There's a special cleaner for stays on ink. It's a, a pigment ink. And then Versamark is a watermark ink, so it's kind of sticky. And you can clean that on your Stampin' Scrub, but you can also just take that to the sink and wash it with warm water, and that will work too. But we'll talk more about inks in an upcoming video. If you have any questions about the best ways to clean your stamps or how not to clean your stamps, let us know. We'll be happy to help you. All right. We will see you later. More details next time. Yes. Okay. Here's my phone. Take it out of the rack. It's probably with low battery. This is going to have messed up because Brian was texting me.